monitoring a CAL FIRE briefing from the fire zone and listening for the latest updates on the firefight as well as the search for the missing. Meantime, questions about whether officials provided enough warning as flames closed in. KPI X5's Emily Turner with a new timeline tonight. And uh, I heard the roar. When I could hear the roar, I'll never forget that sound. This is video of Jared Knoyer's drive out of the campfire Thursday morning. He left before getting an evacuation order, and already he says the roads were a disaster. And it was absolute gridlock. People were already freaking out and cutting over onto the onto the sidewalks and the bike lane, and you know it was it was chaos. It was chaos. And it only got worse from there. This is video of a Cal fireman rescuing a woman fleeing in her wheelchair as people left their cars in panic. Many claim they never got an evacuation alert or got one too late. The chaos causing one man to call for the mayor's resignation. My criticism today is the same thing. Where are you? But the mayor and Cal Fire both say short of predicting the future, there is no way the hysteria could have been avoided. The blaze started at 6.30 a.m. by Camp Creek Road, and by the time they knew it was headed to paradise, it was buffeted by wind gusts of up to 70 miles per hour. Just after 8 o'clock, the first alerts went out to the primary evacuation zones, and embers began to fall in town ahead of the fire front. By 8.29, Jared shot this video. You can see the fire bearing down on paradise, and shortly after is when he got his first text alert at 8.32, then a second with more evacuation zones at 9.09. It, it all took off so fast. It was just, there was, I feel like there was no way for people to really get alerted quick enough. By noon, the campfire had burned through town and turned about 17 square miles to ash. It only took five and a half hours, and the area you see in purple was charred black. I don't think you can design an evacuation plan to get everyone in your town out. There's just not enough roadway infrastructure to do that.